so hello guys welcome back to the new tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see what are coop days coop day bs and coop day snc functions in power bi dax so let's see what is coop days first so the coop days function returns the number of days in a coupon period that contains the settlement date now let's move on to the coop day bs which is my second function over here so it returns the number of dates from the beginning of the coupon period until its settlement date and the third one which is coop dates snc it returns the number of dates from the settlement date to the next coupon date so let's see them in details so first we'll see what is coop dates and how it works so for that go to home we'll create a new major so for that click on new major And over here, let's give it a name as coop dates, which is my first function. And we'll use the same function that is coop dates. The first one is settlement date. So for that, I will put let's say 25th Jan 2011. So for that, again, I have to make use of date function since it is date. The year is 2011. The month is Jan, that is one, and the date is 25th. And the maturity date, let's keep it as 11th November. So for that, 2011, then 11, 11, 11. And we'll keep the frequency value. So for that, if it is annual, then the frequency value is 1. If it is semi annual, then the frequency value is 2. And if it is quarterly, then the frequency value is 4. So let's keep it as semi annual, that is 2. So that's it. These three parameters are required. The first one is settlement date. The second one is maturity date. And the third one is the frequency, whether it is annual, semi-annual or quarter. And just hit enter. And we have successfully created this coop date major. So let's select this and let's see what it contains and select this card function. So as you guys can see, it is saying that 181 number of days in the coupon period that contains the settlement date for a bond with the parameters that we have passed in the DAX query. So this is how the first function that is coop dates function works. Now let's move on to the second one that is coop dates BS. So for that again we have to make new major for that click on new major. And over here let's give it a name as let's say coop day bs is equal to we'll use the same function that is coop day bs uh, the first one yeah the settlement date let's keep it as the same that we have kept for the first function so we'll have to make use of date function which was 2011th first 25th and the maturity let's keep it as the same that is 2011 11 11 november that is and the frequency again let's keep it at senior semi-annual so for that the value is 2 and this hit enter and just select this new major that we have created and instead of bar let's keep it as card so as you guys can see this function is giving me the number of days is 71 74 from the beginning of the coupon period until the settlement date for the parameters that we have passed in the last query. Now let's move on to the third that is coop day SNC. So for that again I have to make use of new major. Let's give it a name as coop days SNC is equal to and we'll have to make use the same function that is this one let's keep the same dates so first one was 25th november 25th jan sorry so for that again i have to make use of date the year was 2011 first 25th the maturity date was 2011 11 11 and the semi annual that is 2 and just hit enter and let's select this 
I select card, bring it over here. So as you guys can see, it is giving me the number of days from the settlement date to the next coupon date is 106. So in this way, these three functions works in Power BI Dash. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos.